Hello and welcome to your channel AWS Cloud Bytes. I'm your host Bhavesh Kumar. Today we are going to talk about how to create a web server with EC2. Let's see what we have. The objective is to build an EC2 instance, install an Apache web server on the EC2 instance, test the web server. It's lab time. I have logged on to the AWS console for this lab. We are going to create an EC2 instance, install an HTTP web server, which is Apache in this case, and then test the web server. I have logged in. I will search EC2 and select EC2 from services. I'll say launch an instance. Let's say it's a web server web server sorry and I want a Linux T2 micro is good same I want to create a new key pair say sample EC2 and create the key pair downloads the key pair in my machine I'll just keep HTTP rather than HTTPS. SSH is also okay. I'm opening to the whole internet. You should not do that. Uh, zero zero is opening to SSH port, HTTP port to all IP in the CIDR block. This is a CIDR block rotation. Okay, this looks good. We don't want to go into the detail. Launch the instance. Let's see still in pending state I'll pause the video to allow it to load okay I got the instance running I'll go to the document to change the permissions on the file that I downloaded so I'll say ls dash l it was called sample and you can see it is read write read read so I'll change 400 sample EC2 and then if I do this you can see it is just read only select that web server maybe the public ID because come on okay it copied so I want to SSH on this machine and then say sample ec2 pim ec2 dash user at the ip address it should be good and i will say yes i'm in that machine i will elevate my permission to root what we are doing is we are installing Apache but before installing Apache on that machine I want to update all of them are up to date so we don't need to update anything I can just say yum install httpd yes and it quickly installed now I can just say system CTL start HTTPD system CTL enable HTTPD and we can look at the status you can see this was active running it's giving you to time 20 seconds it has been running now now we can go to uh, URL and if I have the IP address yes you can see there is a test page up and running and this is your Apache web server running from this machine and how I can show it I can actually shut it down
it's still stopping. Let me wait for a minute. Pausing the video. It took like 20-30 more seconds, but it's not running anymore. You can see that it is in stopped status. If I refresh this, they should spin and it will give an error message that it is not reachable. Let me restart the instance. Okay, this will start the instance and wait for the instance to be up and running. Let me pause it for another minute. It took another 30 seconds. You can see it is up and running. If I select this, you can see there is another public IP in the one that is in the browser is different because you don't have assigned any elastic IP. So this IP changed. If I refresh the same page, it will still not work because the public IP has changed now. HTTPD is not served on that IP anymore. Looks like it is still spinning because I may have to start the service which is not in the script. So maybe I can go and check how the service is. I will do an SSH. The new IP. Yes. And let me see. It says it is running. Oh, it's HTTP. I was going for HTTPS. Sorry about that. So yeah, I didn't have to do anything on this. It was already running. I just verified the public IP changed. One thing you can do is when you are actually launching an instance, you can always go and add um, additional scripting the scripting that we did in the terminal all this you can actually perform within this uh, user data section of an instance if you create multiple instances all of them will have this web service installed as well as it will be running so you don't have to do anything manually on that it is helpful because in that case you can use auto scaling and each instance that comes up will have all this predefined services or whatever components you want to install done and ready to be used when the system comes up okay that is it for this particular lab this is the end of this lab please share your comments and suggestions thank you for watching if you like the video please like share subscribe and press the notification bell icon for future updates